Let us have example 2. Step 1. So, read and understand the problem. A rectangular table has an area of 27 square feet and a perimeter of 24 feet. What are the dimensions of the table? Based from our problem, ang given ay area and perimeter. So, ire-represent natin ang length and width. Therefore, we let L be the length of the table and W be the width of the table. Let's have step 2, device a plan. Bubuo tayo or magkikreate tayo ng equation between the length and width. Recall natin ang formula ng perimeter which is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Therefore, the perimeter, the given perimeter is 24 feet. So, we have 24 equals 2 length plus 2 width. I-divide natin both sides by 2. So, we now have 24 divided by 2 equals 2 times length plus 2 times width all over 2. Simplify. We now have 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 times length divided by 2 is length. And 2, width, 2 times width divided by 2 is width. And then, interchange natin ang kanilang position. We now have length plus width equals 12. Recall natin ang area. Ang formula ng area is length times width. Ang given na area sa ating problem ay 27 square feet. So, we have 27 equals length times width. And then, interchange, we have length times width equals 27. From our equation, we can now have the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. Ang sum of the roots ay 12 at ang product of the roots ay 27. Let's recall the formula in finding the equation or quadratic equation given the sum of roots and product of roots. So, meron tayong x square minus sum of roots x plus product of roots equals 0. Substitute natin yung nakuha nating sum of the roots at product of the roots. Let's copy x square minus ang sum of roots natin is 12, kaya meron tayong 12. At, and then, let's copy x. So, we have negative 12x plus our product of roots is 27. So, we have plus 27 equals 0. This is now our equation. Step 3, carry out the plan. Solve natin ang equation. Okay, so let's solve by factoring. The factors are x minus 9 and x minus 3. Ang factors ng x square ay x and x. Factors ng 27 na ang sum ay negative 12 ay negative 9 and negative 3. Let's check. Negative 9 times negative 3 is positive 27. Negative 9 plus negative 3 is negative 12. And then, let's solve for x. Equate natin ang factors. The first factor is x minus 9 equals 0. Solve for x. We now have x equals 9. Lipat natin yung negative 9 sa right. So, magiging positive 9. The next Factor is x minus 3, equate natin sa 0, then solve for x, our x is 3. Lipat natin yung negative 3 sa right, so we have positive 3. Ang hinahanap sa problem ay dimensions ng table, which are the length and the width. Therefore, 
Ang kukunin nating solutions ay yung dalawa, x equals 9 and x equals 3. Dahil both naman silang positive. Let's have a continuation of example 2. Step 4 is to look back. Let's do the checking. Ang perimeter ng table ay P equals 2, length, 2 times length plus 2 times width. Let's substitute yung nakuha natin kanina. X equals 9 and X equals 3. Ang length natin yung mas mahaba which is 9 at ang width natin is 3. The perimeter of the table is 24 equals 2 times ang length natin is 9 plus 2 times width ang width natin is 3. Simplify. 24 equals 2 times 9 is 18 plus 2 times 3 is 6. 24 equals 18 plus 6 is 24. They are equal, therefore that is true. For the area of the table, we have area equals length times width. The given area of the table is 27, so we have 27 equals. Ang length natin is 9 at ang width natin is 3. 27 equals 9 times 3 is 27. They are equal, therefore that is true. Mula sa representation natin kanina, ang L ay ang length ng table, ang W ay ang width ng table. Ang nakuha nating length is 9 at ang nakuha nating width is 3. Therefore, the dimensions of the table are 9 feet and 3 feet. Remember na isusulat din natin yung unit of measurement. So, ang given na ay feet. So, we will use feet. Ang length ay 9 feet at ang width ay 3 feet. 